welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you welcome back to another vlog i am absolutely like loving vlogging at the moment they are my favorite videos to film you guys seem to love them and it just feels really nice having you with me all day so today is not any old day in Gemma's life i'm actually leaving the house which as we all know is a very rare occurrence i'm actually heading to manchester for the evening tonight which i'm so excited about i've been to manchester one time before and i absolutely loved it like i just think the vibe is really really nice there um so i'm getting a train there in the next few hours i'm actually going to manchester for a glossy box event tonight that they are hosting with elemis which i'm so excited about you guys know elemis is like one of my favorite skincare brands so i'm just really 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 looking forward to it if you haven't already you already know the drill get yourself a nice warm drink get cozy get your pajamas on and i really 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 hope you enjoyed this vlog the outfit that i'm actually wearing tonight is this which i'm so excited about i bought this a few weeks ago i actually showed you guys this in a vlog um but i'm wearing this tonight and i literally can't wait i love it when you've got something new to wear that you've been super excited about so this is a blazer and shorts little cord and i'm gonna wear just like a really plain white body underneath this and then shoes luckily my order that i put in with just fab has just arrived so yeah i need to decide which pair of shoes will go nicest with this outfit so i'm gonna show you which shoes i got actually you guys might have seen that i worked with just fab in january over on instagram and oh my god their shoes are so nice like the quality of them is incredible and i picked up some new styles because i got some boots and stuff last time and i thought as we're going into spring i kind of want to start collecting more spring-like shoes so at the moment you can get any pair of shoes for only 10 pounds at just fab i'm going to leave a direct link in the description box and if you buy your first pair with an offer you actually get automatically signed up to just fab's vip subscription service so being part of the little vip club means you get exclusive deals which are kind of like members only there are private sales you get free delivery free exchanges on any orders over 35 pounds so when you're a vip member you get like your own little boutique so you have to kind of do this little quiz and it's really really cute it asks you kind of like what styles you like what colors you like your sizes and then you'll have your own little boutique that's created where just fab will actually pick out like the styles that most suits you which is really 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 good and then there are also brand new styles every single month hence why i've got some new shoes because there were some new styles in and i had to get my hands on them so the first pair of shoes i actually picked up were these which i am absolutely obsessed with i feel like these might be the ones that i'm kind of going for with my outfit for tonight so these are like a beautiful they're almost like a nude color they're like an off-white color but the quality of the shoes from just fab are just amazing such good quality and i also find them really comfortable as well so i'm loving this kind of like height of heel at the moment i think they're really easy to walk in i think they also look really feminine as well i'm not about like trying to walk in high heels because i just can't um so yeah i'm absolutely loving these i think these would be really nice for like spring summer as well i think these are the perfect shoes to wear with jeans and a nice top and the next pair which i picked up which are also one of my options for tonight are these now i am obsessed with these i feel like these are the shoes of dreams that i've been looking for for a really really long time and they are these strappy sandals they've got a perspex heel and then they've got a lace-up detail as well i think lace-up heels are so flattering like i just think they make your legs look longer now i've got short legs and when i wear lace-up heels i find my legs just look longer so i might be wearing these and also what i love about these as well is they've got a clear strap here so these are super easy to walk in i had a little walk-in test in these earlier up and down the hallway i felt like i was like back buying my school shoes and my mum used to make me walk around i used to hate that so much it used to be so embarrassing um but i can confirm these don't slip at all because they've got this clear strap here and then last but definitely not least of course i got a black pair of shoes i feel like black shoes just go with everything and again these have got the lace-up detail they have got a black heel and then they've got this clear strap again which looks so nice on 
So I'm probably not going to wear these with the pink just because I feel like that might clash a little bit. But these for me are like effortless heels. Like they almost feel like you're wearing flats because the heel is really, really small. So yeah, I'm super happy with my new purchases. Like I said, I will leave a direct link for Just Fab in the description box below. But if you're looking for really good quality, affordable shoes, then Just Fab is for you. My plan is for the rest of the morning, I need to finish packing. And then I'm actually going to drive my car to Sophie's. She's going to give me a lift to the train station and then she's going to come and look after Tilly whilst I'm away which makes me feel really really happy I love it when Tilly's being looked after by someone that just I don't know I feel peaceful when Sophie's looking after Tilly so that is my plan I need to get a move on because my train is in an hour and a half so yeah I'll see you guys when I arrive in Manchester um I've actually got the cutest itinerary whilst I'm there I love itineraries like I love knowing what I'm doing I think because I plan like my every day by half an hour intervals when I get itineraries I'm like oh, I just feel so organized so check-in time is 3 p.m and then I get an Elemis facial in my room how incredible and then I've got a few hours to kind of chill out get ready which is probably the time I'll do my makeup in and stuff and if there's a bath in that hotel room best believe I'm getting a nice bubble bath I might actually take a bath bomb with me is that ridiculously extra I've done that before taking candles on bath bombs um and then we're all meeting downstairs at 7 p.m where there'll be arrival drinks and then we get a skincare masterclass with Elemis which is going to be incredible and then we get a three course meal at 8pm. You guys know what I'm like and I kind of try to avoid social situations because I just feel like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I can't cope with them. Um, but I'm really really excited for this one and I made myself a new year's resolution at the beginning of the year that I was going to push myself out my comfort zone more and I get invited to so many amazing events which I don't go to purely because I just feel too nervous. I get myself super worked up and I just get really, really, really anxious. So I'm very happy that I'm going to this one because I love the girls at Glossy Box. I love Elemis and yeah, I'm feeling really grateful that I've even been invited to this. So <sighs> feeling nervous and excited, but I'm really, really happy that you guys get to come with me. I don't know, it feels, you guys feel like my comfort blanket in a way. So I'm going to finish getting ready and then I shall see you when we arrive at the hotel in Manchester. Hello my lovelies, finally arrived in Manchester. I've just checked in to the most beautiful hotel. There is currently classical music playing which is making me feel very, very relaxed after a four hour train journey. But it was one of those train journeys that was like really, really productive. I feel like I got so much done. So I'm feeling very, very happy. I am just about to give you a room tour. It's so cute in here. So as you walk through the door, this is the first thing that you see. Canon, if you could focus, that'd be fabulous. Such a cute room and then a TV, a really big mirror. Sometimes find hotels don't have full length mirrors, but I love that. And then a nice big TV. And then over here, what have we got over here? Oh my God, how cute. A little welcome brownie. And then the itinerary printed off here. How cute. Oh, and also some cookies and some water and some classical music um and then oh my god aren't hotel beds just the best i always think hotel pillows are unreal i remember i went to this hotel once and they actually had like you could select which kind of pillow you wanted and it was like infused i can't remember where that was i think it was with sophie and then over here oh i love these little cupboards little secret cupboards oh <gasps> cute so we've got coffee a little mini fridge and then oh my god let's let's have a look okay i don't actually think that did anything oh it's because thicko here doesn't have the key in the door literally just turned the switch on for the bathroom and nothing happened i was like is my room broken no Gemma, you just didn't put the key in the door so where do i put the key this is confusing can you tell i don't go to hotels oh oh Ah, I think it may be this switch here that says master switch. Yay! Let's do that again. Pretend that never happened. <laughs> That's better. Oh my god. <gasps> I need this bathroom in my house. Oh my god. I love it. I love the shower so much. This is the coziest bathroom I think I've ever seen. I think it's these lights that just make it 
so bloody cozy oh my god i feel like this is goals i think in my dream house i want to have a bedroom with like doors to my bathroom and then a big window like overlooking a lake or something yeah i'm gonna add that to my vision board i think and then in here i spy with my little eye a dressing gown oh my god how extra is this dressing gown it feels like velvet how exciting i know this is really 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 sad but one of the things I do look forward to when I come to a hotel is the dressing gown. Like, I feel like if I was to go to a hotel and they didn't have a dressing gown, I would genuinely be like, where is it? So I'm actually really, really excited to put that on. So the plan for now is I actually have someone coming up to my room in about 15 minutes to give me an Elemis facial, which is incredible. And I can't wait. I'm just like so... I'm so happy that I came here. You guys know I don't really like go to many events and I just, I'm, I'm just feeling proud of myself and I'm so happy that I'm here because this is amazing and I'm gonna make more effort to go to more and I get to bring you guys along with me, which is really, really good. So the first thing I do when I enter any form of hotel room or cozy environment is put my hair in a bun and put my dressing gown on. And whilst I was doing so, I had the cutest little delivery to the door Thought that we could have a little look together. So let me turn you round. Oh my God. This is so exciting. Inside my little goodie bag, we have got, oh my gosh, I love these cleansing cloths. Sea lavender and samphire bath and shower milk. Oh my God, you guys know how much I love eating samphire. So that makes me very, very happy. And then we also have this nourishing body cream, a frangipan body oil. I love frangipan so much. I also love that little bottle. That's so cute. And then what else do we have? We have some cleansing water. I'm not even going to attempt to say that word because I can never say it right. Eye and lip makeup remover. Also love that. And then, oh my God, that is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. I've never seen a mini before and that is unbelievably cute. That will also be really, really good for a little travel one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Elemis, for my little goodies. I'm just gonna throw it out there. That was the nicest facial I've ever had in my entire life. My skin feels like I've got a brand new layer of skin. Look how glowy it is. It's so soft. I just... There is no better feeling than post facial. It was so relaxing and so lovely and just the most perfect start to the evening. I think it was just such a lovely little touch and I feel really relaxed and just super excited to get ready now. Just remembered as well, when I was in the train station, I actually went to Sainsbury's and got some snacks. Of course I did. Um, I almost get a little bit of like anxiety when I come to hotel rooms that I don't have any water and I don't have any snacks so I always do a little snack run. Let's make a little tripod of pillow. Hell, I don't get out much, can't you? Don't mind me, just quarter past four on a Tuesday afternoon and I'm in bed with snacks. So, first snack I got was some watermelon. I am obsessed with watermelon. I kind of go through these phases of being obsessed with something, eating too much of it and then not liking it. So. Whilst it lasts, I'm obsessed with the watermelon. And if you don't know about these yogurts, you must try one. So these are the Alpro High Protein Strawberry Raspberry little yogurts. And oh my God, they taste like strawberry donuts. Like they are unreal. And they're also dairy free. So these are really, really nice. And then I got one of my favorite protein bars because these are like gold dust to find. And every time I see one, I have to buy one because they're very, very rare. And they're the birthday cake granite. Gregor. Grenade. They are the birthday cake grenade bars. They're so nice. Like they don't taste like protein bra bras. <sighs> bars. Grenade. Protein bars. <laughs> Crikey. So I found two new naked bars. I love the Bakewell naked bars. They're so nice. And I actually found a strawberry sundae one and a banoffee pie one. So I'm really excited to try those. Whenever I go to Sainsbury's, I always pick these up because I love them. And they're these little mini, mini, why can't I talk? These little mini drinks. And they remind me of Alice in Wonderland. You know, the little mini things they have that say drink me. Reminds me of those. Um, and I got a turmeric hot shot and a ginger boost. I love ginger drinks. A lot of people hate them. But I love the taste of ginger and this is really, 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 really good for your digestive system. So I'm actually going to have this one in a moment. Actually, I'm going to drink this one now because we're celebrating. 
I'm not quite sure what we're celebrating, but cheers. I don't know if I was meant to do that. I don't think I was meant to down it. My throat is on fire. I mean, it doesn't say anything about not drinking it all in one. Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm going to start breathing fire or something. Bloody hell. And then I actually remembered on the train that I forgot pretty much all my makeup brushes. I knew this morning when I was getting ready that I would forget something. Um, and I forgot, like, my bronzer brush and... A foundation brush and a concealer brush and I've got kind of like a new way of doing my makeup at the moment where I've been using a lot more brushes and it's turned out like so much nicer so I thought I really want to have nice makeup tonight so I popped into boots and just picked up a little replacement of brushes which I don't really mind having a few of so I got one of the Real Techniques um, foundation brushes these are really 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 good and then I also got a Real Techniques concealer brush again amazing and then this is my favorite powder brush in the whole world. You can get it from Boots and it's one of the Eco Tools brushes. I just find it really, 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 really fluffy and easy to use. It's perfect for like bronze on your neck and on your head. Well, I don't really know what to do with myself now. Right, what am I actually doing? So it's now time to get ready. I'm so sorry about the terrible lighting. There's not really anywhere else I can sit. Okay, I might have to use the flash on my phone and like stand it somewhere. Product which I've actually just used, which I found in my makeup drawer this morning. That is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This stuff is so good. So I've obviously got my legs out tonight because I'm wearing shorts and my legs are always covered in bruises. I don't know why. There's just always some kind of patchy fake tan or bruises on my legs. And this is honestly like pure foundation, like a foundation spray. It's incredible. I've actually seen on a makeup tutorial before that Kim Kardashian actually uses this. Like she uses it on her chest and stuff. If you're not having any body parts out and you want them to look just a little bit more airbrushed, then you can get this from pretty much Boots, Tesco, anywhere like that. And it's near all the fake tan. Um, so yeah, would definitely recommend this. Um, I also have just realised I don't have a mirror. Um, because the mirror's up there on the wall, so, oh god. I dread to think what I'm going to bloody end up looking like tonight. <laughs> That'll be fine. So, my makeup has changed, like, loads recently. I've kind of discovered some ways I like to do my makeup where it just goes so nicely. Um, so if you would like to see, like, an updated everyday makeup routine, then let me know, because I'll talk about it in a little bit more depth. But I'm going to go through everything that I'm going to use tonight just like really, really, really briefly because I don't want to bore you in case you don't want to see that. I'm not actually going to prime because I had my lovely facial earlier on today and I feel like my skin is already prepped. So I'm going to be using my favourite foundation in the entire world, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in shade 220. This foundation is just everything. I use my new brush, which I bought earlier. I kind of go through phases of using sponge sometimes and then a brush other times. But I just think a brush applies foundation so much nicer than a sponge. Yay, we have light. I fixed the lighting situation. So I forgot that I actually had my um, phone tripod in my bag. So I've just attached my phone to it and put the flash on. So we actually have some form of light in now. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Born This Way concealer by Too Faced. This is un real the best concealer over you use it in shade almond now i've recently switched up how i apply my concealer i always used to use a beauty blender and as much as it blended it out really nicely i did find that it took away a lot of the product number one it's a waste and number two it was kind of annoying because i had to put layers on and then sometimes i find with concealer the more layers you put on it starts to look really 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 cakey so very recently i started using like a little mini concealer brush and honestly it makes such a difference and it looks just so much more when i do a heavy makeup i kind of like to look a bit like a doll like i like my skin to look really 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 perfect 
Um, I mean, some people don't like that. Some people do like a very natural makeup. And if you do, then a sponge is the way forward. I personally just like to look very like doll-like. Basically just like to look like plastic. Um, so this little concealer brush, which I showed you earlier, is really, really, really good. And what I usually do is just blend out the edges. And a little tip which I actually learned from one of Huda Beauty's videos is when you've damped your beauty blender and you've kind of like put it in a towel and like got all the dampness out, if you use tissue, apparently it gets all like the wet little pockets out because I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes when I use a beauty blender, it can sometimes almost like feel really wet and make my makeup just go horrible so yeah just go over it with a tissue and it actually makes so much difference once i've kind of done my concealer with a brush i will just go over sort of the bottom half of my face with a sponge just to get rid of any excess product um but i don't usually go right up to my eye because i like there to be quite a lot of product under here and then for cream contour i'm going to take the huda beauty tantor as always and i'm going to use shade fair today because i don't want it to be like too much um this shade's really really nice because it's really 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 natural and i'm just gonna pop this here and then and then i'm also gonna use the brush which i got in the pr package from the huda beauty tantor pack which is actually incredible like it's one of very few brushes which i think just buffs it out so nicely it doesn't take any of the makeup off underneath and I don't know, it just blends it so nicely. Okay, so that's all my cream products done. I'm gonna do powder products after I've done my eyebrows because I don't like any powder on my eyebrows. I think it makes them go really weird. Um, so eyebrows, I'm gonna use as always the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil from Maybelline. So good. And this is in, I think this is in light brown, um, but this is so nice and natural. Actually, I'm gonna brush my eyebrows first. I feel like I've switched dead serious all of a sudden because I know that I've got to hurry up. Like, I chilled for way too long. And I've literally got about 40 minutes to get ready. And of course I wanted to get ready with you guys. So I feel like I've gone from being really hyper to like, really serious makeup Gemma. And then whilst I've got my eyebrow pencil out, I also like to go over my beauty spots because I think sometimes when you put foundation over beauty pot, beauty, can't speak beauty spots they can sometimes look like spots so i do just like to go over those with my eyebrow pencil as well so with the 24 hour brow setter i love this stuff i honestly like could not imagine my life without it now i just go over my eyebrows and i just brush them up and i think if you go over them a few times oh my god your eyebrows go so nice they look like they've been laminated as you can see they just go really really fluffy which i really love at the moment more translucent powder i've run out of laura mercier which breaks my heart i might have to get some more of that tomorrow so i'm going to use the huda beauty um translucent powder in the shade sugar cookie which is the really really white one which is just so good as well um and i'm actually just going to apply this with a brush today not a sponge Again, sponges are a bit hit and miss for me. It depends what my skin's like. I think if my skin is quite dry, if I use a sponge with powder, I think it can sometimes just like stick on the dry patches and make me look super cakey. Um, but I'm really, really loving like a matte makeup at the moment. Oh my God, I just inhaled so much translucent powder. Wow. Oh my God, I look like Mulan. It's all right, we're gonna bronze me back up in a moment with some bronzer favorite bronzer in the whole world which i actually discovered a few months ago is the pressed foundation pressed foundation pressed powder from primark it's two pounds i use shade cinnamon and honestly i would never use any other bronzer again it's so good and i like to apply it with like a buffing brush this one is makeup by polly and honestly it's just the most amazing bronzer like it doesn't go patchy, it doesn't look grey, it's just so nice and smooth. And I think because it's like technically a foundation, it's almost like, it adds like an extra layer. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't sit on top of the skin, it kind of like just really, really melts into it. Like I love the colour of it so much. I'm also going to use the same bronzer on my eyelids as well. I literally just put it into my lid and then I blend it out and then I also take some and... I put quite a lot all the way under my eye. Look how much of a difference that makes to my eyes. I think it makes them look so much bigger. So blusher, I think blusher is the part that just transforms it for me. I think it brings everything together. It kind of like warms up your face. And as always, I'm gonna be using my NARS shade Orgasm. This is the best 
blusher ever and it also has like a little bit of highlight in it as well so you don't necessarily need highlight you should take quite a lot of this and then just put it on the apples of my cheeks and i usually kind of like put it all the way up here as well and what i also like to do is i take some on my finger and i actually just run some down the middle of my nose i think this is such a nice way to make you look like naturally sun-kissed if you know what i mean um i always pop some on my nose i just think it looks really pretty and as you can see it almost has like a little bit of gold glow as well and then i'm also just going to tidy my bronzer up as well I'm just going to pop a bit of translucent powder under here it's actually better to use my camera as a mirror at this point <laughs> at least it's actually got some kind of decent light in highlights i'm just going to be using a very very small bit um as always going to use my huda beauty palette this is the what palette is this golden sands and i always use this shade called seashells and i've kind of just gone off this a little bit i don't use half as much as i used to i usually just pop a little bit on the end of my nose then the top of my nose here because i think that makes your nose look smaller on my cupid's bow and then i also just pop a very small amount on my cheekbones because i think it can look really pretty and then i'm also going to pop a little bit on my brow bone today as well treat myself this is the same brush that i use for bronzer as well so i kind of like to once I've done my makeup, just kind of like dust it all over my face just to make sure everything's nice and blended and it also just kind of bronzes up your face. But make sure there's not loads of product on it first because I've done that so many times and then I've ended up with a really, 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 really bronzed face. Okay, I'm going to use two lipsticks. I'm going to use the old Faithful Velvet Ted. Oh, very running very low on Velvet Teddy. And I'm going to use this to almost like outline my lips make them a little bit more pinky i'm going to take one of the huda beauty bullet lipsticks this one is rendezvous i don't know how to spell it i'll put it in the description box and i'm just going to pop this like in the middle of my lips just so it's got a bit of an ombre and then what i've also been doing at the moment as well is when i've kind of put my lip combo on i take a really small piece of tissue and i almost just like dab quite a lot of it off I know that seems quite pointless, but I kind of like the way a lip stain looks at the moment. Um, and I also think it makes them look really, really, really matte. Here's my makeup done. I'm so incredibly happy with it. Also, I did it in record time. I pretty much did this in like 25 minutes, which I'm very, very impressed with. So for setting spray, I'm going to use my Morphe X Jeffree Star setting mist. This is so nice. This is really nice for like everyday natural kind of makeup, which this definitely isn't. Also smells amazing. And then on top of that, so my makeup stays on all night and it doesn't move. I'm also going to have just a few little sprays of the Huda Beauty Rest in Boss Face. This I find is good, but I think it's very harsh on the skin. Um, like I wouldn't use this every single day because it's quite drying and it's quite perfumed. So it's not like the most... I don't know, like I just wouldn't use it every single day. I only use this on like nighttime events or something where I need my makeup to stay on. <gasps> And that is my makeup done. So yeah, if you would like to see like more in depth, talking through more products, kind of telling you a few more little like hacks and stuff I do, then hacks. Who do I think I am? Beauty guru, 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 Gemma. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Right, I am now gonna get a bloody move on because I've got like 10 minutes. I'm gonna sort my hair out, perfume, get dressed, and then I shall see you when Freya arrives. So I'm now all ready, I'm dressed, I've done my hair, I've forgotten perfume. It's a good job, I thought of that. So the perfume that I bought with me is my all time favorite perfume ever. And that is the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. Noir, um, honestly, it's so nice. Like it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. So I'm gonna absolutely drown myself in this tonight because I'm out of the house and I can. So as you guys know, this is my outfit for tonight. It's so comfortable. Like it's one of those outfits that I just feel really nice and comfortable in. I feel like you can see it better if I sit down. I think because the mirror is so close to the bed, it's really hard to show you my outfit standing up. So I've just gone for one of my white Zara bodies, which I think actually goes really, really nice with this. And then the shoes of choice were the ones from Just Fab, the lace-up ones, which I've got white toenails as well. So all of the white tying in is really, really satisfying me and then bag for this little one which is also from just fab which i got in january um which actually i think looks very nice so 
I'm very, very, very happy with my outfit. And as you can see, the Sally Hansen stuff, which I told you about, has kind of covered up the bruises on my legs. I just think it makes them look like super airbrushed. Currently just waiting for Freya to come up to my room and then we're gonna head down to the event. Here she is. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, oh no. Lydia's gone. Interrupted. Are you quite finished? I'm finished. Interrupted by what the are you phone watching call? on TV? I was watching Couples Come Down with me. Oh, I was are watching. Are you judging me? Uh, no, I was watching. She's judging me! I was watching a chase. <laughs> wow. So, we are just about to leave. Yay. We have to face the lift again. With the little zapper, you have to use your key. I didn't know that. Yeah, and were you stuck in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was, was going first. up and down and I was like, why isn't it taking me to <laughs> level five? I was like, <laughs> ding, 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 and yeah. We made Apparently it. you have to use the key. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Can Lydia come up? Yeah, she can. Oh, nice. oh, that's good. What's? I Ooh. need to check your camera settings. I'm intrigued. Oh, why? I Are love you an this. auto girl or do you have it just? Oh, I'm an auto girl. Yeah, I feel like I need to up my. I like. Settings. Do you know what? When I don't like the um. I like to be able to make it brighter if you yes. want to. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Gemma and I drank too much wine. I actually felt fine. The drunkness hits you. I can see it in my eyes. I can see it in my eyes. Oh my god. I literally had the best evening ever and I'm kind of all deep in my feelings right about now. I'm just so happy I came. You guys know like coming to events is quite a big deal to me and I know that sounds really silly because it is part of my job. I met some incredible people tonight honestly i got to finally meet the girls from glossy box who are just incredible and it's so nice to finally kind of like meet people that i've been talking to for ages and you guys know i've been working with glossy box for such a long time it just meant a lot to finally meet them and just meet some really really lovely girls sometimes i do worry that i'm not cut out for this job sometimes only because like i love what i do don't get me wrong i love having you all in my life and i love like talking to you but i feel like i never started youtube for the fame i never started youtube for the money i never started youtube to become recognized and like all of these amazing perks that come with this job that's never why i started so I think like I worry that I'm not really, I don't know, I, sometimes I just worry that I'm not cut out for it. You guys know me, I like to be at home, I like to kind of keep myself to myself and I just come on here to talk about feelings and I think the main purpose I ever started YouTube was to just help people and to just make some friends and find some people that are like-minded and I think this is me getting real real deep so I'm I must be pretty drunk because I don't really say this a lot I have always struggled to find people that are like me um find people that don't really like drinking and don't really like partying and are just a bit boring like me like I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it, I am a bit boring. I love routine and I do repeat myself and I like just very boring things. And honestly, I feel like before I started YouTube, I was in a very, very, very dark place of my life and I didn't really feel like I had much purpose. And now I just feel so different to that. And I just feel really, really grateful. And I think evenings like tonight, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I think evenings like tonight just really, I guess it kind of hits me a little bit. It hits me a little bit that I am so incredibly lucky to be in this position. I'm so incredibly lucky to be invited to events like this with brands that I've literally admired 
from such a young age like I think sometimes you do need to take a little bit of a step back and just kind of see how far you've come and yeah tonight was just such a lovely lovely evening and yeah I just had to come on here and tell you guys that I'm very grateful for you all and I think on that note I need some water before I go and get ready for bed, I just wanted to quickly do a little unboxing of the Glossy Box Elemis box, which is absolutely incredible. Um, oh my god, this is my favourite Glossy Box yet. Like, of, out of... Uh, 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 can't speak. Out of all of the Glossy Boxes, this is my favourite one ever. Even opening the box smells incredible. It just smells like a spa as soon as you take the lid off. But in this box, there's actually £180 worth of products. I'm going to pop a link for this in the description box below. I think this comes out today um, when you guys actually see this vlog. So I'll pop it in the description box, but I should think it will sell out very, very, very quickly. The first thing that you actually get is one of the mini pro collagen cleansing balms. You guys know this is one of my go-to products. And then the next thing you get are these little eye masks. I actually had these on earlier in my facial and my under eyes just felt really, really, really good after like they felt really plump and nice. And then you also get a pro collagen marine cream this is the best moisturizer in the entire world and then you also get the papaya enzyme peel again i had this earlier on in my facial and my face was just left feeling incredible and it was also a peel off mask so when the lady actually did my facial i almost felt her like pull my entire face off like it was so satisfying and then the next thing you get is the pro collagen overnight cream so this is a night version of this one and then last but definitely 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 not least this little guy right here which is the pro collagen marine oil i just think what an amazing box i am so so happy with it and i'm just so happy that you guys can get your hands on this that's the best thing about glossy box you get little testers and you kind of discover things that you wouldn't usually discover which i just think is amazing anyway i feel like i am rambling um my head feels a little bit less drunk okay i think i have a new favorite moisturizer i have to get the big version of this that is insane like look how glowy it's made my skin and my skin never really goes this glowy after i've had like a full face of makeup my skin sometimes looks a little bit dead after i've had a full face of makeup on i was actually gonna end this vlog in the morning but i'm not really gonna be up to much tomorrow so yeah i guess that's gonna conclude today's vlog thank you all so much for watching i really 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 hope you enjoyed this vlog and i shall see you in my next video i love you all so much bye you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you